Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Our Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. Last time we were able to discuss the tangent lines and the circle. So for this time, let us apply what we have learned from those tangent lines and its application to the equation of the circle. Therefore, we are given the problem, find the standard equation of the circle with the center at 15 and negative 7 and tangent to line y is equal to negative 10. If you are given this one, all we have to do is to plot first the center. We're given the center located at positive 15 and negative 7, the x value is positive 15, therefore this is the x value, and the y value is equal to negative 7. That is negative 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so this is the negative 7, and their intersection is our center. Okay, so let us try to plot. So this is our center now. This is the center of the circle. But using the standard equation of the circle, again, the standard equation or the center radius form is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. So this is our standard equation. We are given the center as h and k. Again, the center is given as h and k, but we do not know yet the value of the radius. But we are given another condition. And the next condition is that it is tangent to the line y is equal to negative 10. Always remember that if it is tangent to a line and we are given y is equal to negative 10, let us try first to plot y is equal to negative 10. It says here it is the line y. Therefore, we need to locate the y coordinate. If this is negative 7, this is negative 8, this is negative 9, this is now negative 10. Therefore, the line y is equal to negative 10 is horizontal line. Again, it is horizontal line. If we are given a line, which is y, always remember that that is horizontal. But if we are given line as x, that is a vertical line. If this is horizontal, let us now try to draw horizontal line. Okay? So this is now our line. And this is what? y is equal to negative 10. If this is y is equal to negative 10, it says here that it is tangent to y is equal to negative 10. If this is the center of our circle, therefore, it is now tangent to this one. And this is our radius, right? Because this is our circle. Our circle which is tangent to the line y is equal to negative 10. And how do we know the radius? We could um, locate the radius by simply counting from, line, uh, from negative 7 up to negative 10. Therefore, that is 1, 2, 3. Therefore, r is equal to 3. Okay. So, based on the equation, we will now be having, we will now be having x minus h, x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. x minus h is x minus 15 quantity squared plus y minus minus 7 that becomes positive 7 quantity squared is equal to 3 squared. x minus 15 quantity squared plus y minus 7 quantity squared is equal to 9. Therefore, this is now the equation of the circle having center at 15 and negative 7 and tangent to the line y is equal to negative 10. Again, do not forget that if it is tangent to a line y, the line is horizontal. If it is tangent to the line x, the line is vertical. 